one day, it was almost it was almost dark. I was watering my yard, and um, I was so happy because I still had water, and I I knew of some of the neighbors that didn't had any water at that time, and one of a sudden it just went away, just like like air coming out of my hose, and that was the end of my water. Yeah, my wa my well went dry right at that time. It's very calm. I've lived in the same street all my life. My mom lives on the same street. My mom and dad, my aunt across the street, my in-laws down the street. It's like a whole family living on the same street. I love it. I've lived here in Porterville for uh, 46 years. It's changed a lot. Almost all of this part of the east side does not have water. That's, that can give you an idea of how many families are, are going through the same problem. I was the, one of the second houses on the street for the, water, uh, the well to go dry. In the beginning, it was just like a lot of air coming out. And then I finally um, got somebody out here and they had told me, you know, you're your water level's too low and you're just sucking up air. There's no more water. I was devastated. I thought about my kids. How I, I was gonna do it with them not having water. It was very hard. You don't realize how much you need the water. I was going from one house to another, bathing, washing, asking for permission to use the washer. Um, there's four, there's five of us. So, you know, maybe you can get away with, oh, can my little girl take a shower here today? But when you say, can my whole family take a shower here? It's, it was very hard. We have this 300-gallon uh, tank that they provided us, and they come in and fill it up uh, twice a week, once a week. Whenever we need water, they just come by and fill it up. In order to go to the bathroom, I have to take a bucket of water to use the toilet. To brush my teeth, I have to use a cup. To take a bath, I need to take another bucket of water inside and take a bath. To wash dis dishes is the same thing. And that's, that's the same thing throughout the day. And it's hard, it's hard to take, be taking all that water inside the house, but uh, that's what we have, so that's what we have to do. We water the little plants that we have because our lawn's gone, our backyard's gone, you know? My girls don't have nowhere to play outside, except the driveway, but it's very sad. It's, this, this neighborhood is, is very sad. The only solution I believe there is right now is digging our well deeper. But it costs a lot of money, which, like I said, we don't have. 
And the other thing is there's nobody to do it right now. Everybody's busy doing wells, so we, we just can't do it right now. You go to sleep thinking how you're going to do it, you know. I take it day by day. I take it day by day. Um, I wouldn't want to leave. A lot of people are leaving, you know. I, this is where I grew up. I don't want to leave. But I'll do whatever I have to for my kids. I, I, I don't understand why we have to go through this. I understand that, yeah, we bought the house knowing we had a well and stuff, but I don't think this can go on forever. There's got to be some solution out there.